Man, I hate studying for these exams. I feel like the things we learn have no real impact on everyday life. Mm, I wouldn't say that. I mean, there's a lot of people who talk about free radicals in our bodies, and most of that is bunk. If it weren't for classes like these, misinformation would be fact. Free radicals? Don't those cause cancer? Not really. Because we just take a lot of antioxidants now, right? Look, just read chapter 8. It goes over radical chemistry. And while you're doing that, I'm going to cook some dinner. I'm famished. Yeah, sure, all right. It's in the book, he said. I understand it, he said. Well, when you're dying from cancer because you didn't take your vitamins, I'll be here to say I told you so. Now, chapter 8. Radical chemistry. Radicals are atoms or molecules with unpaired electrons. Some are rather stable, but most are volatile and react immediately, which causes cancer. But I think I get it. Let's move on. There are ways to generate radicals, such as thermal cracking, homolysis, and... Wait, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Tell me, what is your name? It's Matt, but what am I doing here? Oop, oop, oop. This is not the time for you to ask questions yet, ja? Yeah? Now, uh, why did you decide to take organic chemistry? Because I wanted to understand the way chemicals in our bodies interact with other, other chemicals. Very good answer, but if that is the case, why do you not understand radicals? You're listening to our conversation? I'm inside your head, you don't. Let's think about how this works, ja? Yeah? So, these are the methane and chlorine. Seem stable, ja? Yeah, stable enough. So the process that starts when the chlorine separates due to energy, most commonly light. And those are radicals, right? Yes. So how does that cause continuous reactions? Excellent question, but let's have the molecules answer that one. Bond with me can't you see i've got some electrons free i'm quite strong and i'm not wrong to think that you will join to me truth be told this is fate but together we are great just so long as we're together we can both be even better can it be you and me have the greatest chemistry you can neutralize my instability. Come on, we'll be reborn in beautiful new form. So bond with me, bond with me, bond with me. I don't quite know why these molecules decide to make it seem like falling in love, but it works. We now have a methyl radical. So, wouldn't a methyl radical just attack the chlorine radical? Nine. The chlorine molecule also found another methane molecule and attacked it. And the methyl radical attacked the chlorine molecule. Then the process continues until there's no longer any reactants and equilibrium is established. So how do antioxidants work? Do they stop the radicals from forming? Well, not really. So here's a basic antioxidant. This was the same start as methane and chlorine, but here a difference. Bond with me, can't you see? I've got some... Nah, we're good, thanks. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I mean, we miss hydrogen, sure, but oxygen is leaning on carbon for support. So, since it's stable on its own, it doesn't propagate the cycle? Should I load up on these antioxidants then? No, you foolish boy! Just taking the proper fatty acids and nutrients in a good diet and let your body do the rest. Okay, I think I get it now. Thanks, Dr. King. No worries. Hey, wake up. Huh? Wake up, wake up. Dude, you're out of it, you okay? What? Yeah, uh, by the way, I think I get the whole free radical thing now. Great, well, dinner's ready, buddy. Yeah, thanks, uh, hey. Did you have a Disney movie playing earlier? No, well, you're the one obsessed with Disney. Why do you ask? Oh, uh, no reason. Yeah, well, 
Anyways, I'm gonna get my food and we'll pretend this never happened, deal? Yeah, deal. Chapter 8. <laughs> Cut. Mm. You, you're all reading off the line. <laughs> yeah, you are literally reading. Is all you're doing. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that was recorded. <laughs>